Thanks for tuning in to Final Evolution Comics, where today we're going to be talking about the underlying principles that govern the Final Evolution Comics universe. There were a number of things that bothered me about the comics I read growing up. So as I set out to create my own universe, I created five rules to govern the different stories. Rule number one, characters age appropriately. Most comics allow their universes to age along with the times, so that their stories always seem relevant, but their characters never age along with it. Spider-Man's first appearance was in 1962, and although his story is now set in modern times, he's only in his late 20s or early 30s. After 65 years of adventures, he's only aged 10 to 15 years or so. I understand why they do it. I mean, who wants to read about a geriatric Spider-Man? So, well, that might be funny, but I get it. In the Final Evolution Comics universe, the characters change with time. The stories start in 2001, and if a year goes by in comic book time, the characters would be a year older. So it might be 2016 in the real world, but only 2002 in the comic book world. So be it. Time will pass and the characters will age. It will never be current with the real world, but it doesn't need to be. It's a comic book. Rule number two. You can't be in two places at once. At one point, Spider-Man had five comic book titles going at the same time, and he still had time to make guest appearances in other comics. Trying to understand which story was happening when was generally impossible. Continuity be damned. The more popular the character, the more money they can make. In Final Evolution comics, there's a strict timeline. Every moment is accounted for with times and dates. No character will ever be in two places at once. Rule number three, the past matters. Imagine all the fights superheroes have been in over the years. How many cuts and bruises have they received? How many broken bones? How many times have they been on the verge of death? They should be riddled with scars and broken beyond repair. But every time we see them, they look pristine. Yeah, there are a few exceptions, but for the most part, when they receive this damage, it's quickly forgotten. How many times has the world been invaded by aliens or a city destroyed? How many times have we had a huge crossover event where we're promised nothing will ever be the same, only to have it forgotten about a few issues later? In Final Evolution comics, every fight matters and scars are forever. Life shattering events will actually shatter lives. Big crossover events will change things forever, for better or for worse. History will matter. Rule number four, no dangling plot lines. There's nothing wrong with a good mystery, as long as at some point the mystery gets solved. Sometimes one writer would start a new plot thread, and then when he's removed from the book, a new writer would come in and either completely ignore it or explain it away with some quick dialogue. Either way, the story's never taken to its natural conclusion. The mystery's never solved. In Final Evolution comics, the dangling plot threads and mysteries can only be left dangling if it's on purpose. It might take years, but eventually every plot thread that gets introduced will get resolved. And finally, rule number five. Characters can die, and dead means dead. It seems like every major character from Marvel and DC has died multiple times. In comics, death means nothing. Even if one writer expects the character to stay dead, a few years later a new writer may come in and figure out a way to bring him back. Now I'm not against the rare story where a character comes back from the dead in some interesting or creative way but they've done it to us so many times, we don't even believe it anymore. If you don't believe that the danger these characters are facing could have lasting consequences, then it loses its meaning. There's no real danger at all. In Final Evolution comics, characters can die. And the majority of the time, dead means dead. There might be a few exceptions, but they'll be few and far between, so that death in comics can mean something again. Thanks for watching this additional Final Evolution comics. Leave us any questions in the comments or subscribe for new videos on original fiction, comic book, and music video ideas.